What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. I'm here in my W204 today and I'm going to show you guys how to remove one of the most annoying things in a W204 and that is the center console foam Bluetooth adapter. Now this thing has serves no purpose. It does nothing because these days you either stream your phone through auxiliary and then play your music through the auxiliary or you simply Bluetooth it or you play it off an SD card. So there's no, there's no point to this phone adapter anymore. So I really don't see why you need it anymore, which is why I removed mine and installed a nifty little uh, coin holder. And it actually divides it and gives it two levels. Check this thing out, guys. Look at this. Look how cool this thing is. And it costs you like $10, $15 shipped to your house. And this thing is just so much better than having you know, that stupid phone thing in the way every time you're trying to like store something, you know, I know you got your glove box, but if you're like me and you, you know, like to store things in your car, you run out of room pretty quickly. So, you know, why, why have that stupid phone adapter in there when uh, you can just have one of these things and um, have, have a coin sorter as well as another storage compartment. So, Anyways, let's get on with it. Okay guys, so now this is how you actually remove it. It's so simple. Now I've already removed it, but I actually reinstalled it just to show you guys how easy it is to, re to, to remove. Now, if you look here carefully with in, within your car, you can't see it properly on the camera, but I'm going to show you guys after I remove it. There's a tab here, a tab here, a tab here, and a tab here. You can you can just barely see it guys. Hold on, let me give you guys some more light. Okay, now there it is, the tabs. There's one there and there's one right there. It's a bit sticking out because I wanted to uh leave it out just a little bit so you guys can actually see where the tabs are so you don't just break them. Okay, now you probably won't care because this thing actually, like I said, serves no purpose. Alright, now, let's get on with it. Okay, so in order to remove this, all you got to do is simply grip it from the bottom and pull out whilst bending upwards. Because you've got a tab here and a tab at the bottom, so as soon as you get one tab out, you bend it that way. Because this tab's easier to remove, I recommend removing this tab, squeezing on it like that, and pulling out, and then lifting out. That way, so you're kind of making like an L shape. You're pulling it out, then you're going to lift it up. Okay, just like this. Here we go, guys. Have a look. You squeeze it, and then you pull out, and then you lift it up. There we go. Now that one's out. Now all you've got to worry about is this part back here. And that part, you can just pull it out more, and it just lifts out, just like that, guys. Look at that. How easy was that, guys? Now all you got to do is fiddle with it and get it out. Okay, guys, so now that you have just removed it and you've got it out, don't just rip it all the way up because, as you can see, there's wires connected. Now, with these wires, it's very simple to disconnect. One of them, there's just a, a, a clip here. You'll see it as you do it, and all you got to do is press on this and lift up and it just disconnects like that guys so with this plug there's a you just have to push this down and then pull it out now this one is also the, very similar but there's actually a lever at the back here where my thumb is now once you press that you can just pull it out now I can't do it with one hand or let me try no I can't do it with one hand so. Actually, let me see if I can get this finger onto the other side and just simply press on it and pull. There we go, guys. I just did it pull with my other finger, but that's how you disconnect it. There's a lever at the back here. You press on this part and that unlocks the little clip here. This little clip. Because as you can see, that pushes in and this is the locking mechanism. 
on top here. And just like that guys, it's done. So basically when you uh, pull out this, the uh, adapter housing, you want to feed these cables through so you can disconnect them. So that way you don't have to pull off the back. But if you have to pull off the back, it's easy. As you can see there, I've, I've already pulled it off. You know, I've got the aircon dangling down there. Yeah. There you go, see? I just pulled all that out just to show you guys. But you don't have to remove the back bit. It's very simple anyway if you want to remove the back. Okay, guys, now with it removed, you just want to feed these back into the hole. As you can see, there's a hole here where that light's shining through and you just want to feed it back through because you don't want it to be sitting in your middle console, your center console. So all you do is just push it through, just like that. Get it all the way through, that's one through. Cover it with the uh, insulation because um, I'm guessing that that insulation is there to protect it from moisture, etc. And just push it through again with your fingers like this. As you can see, I'm slowly getting it through there. Sorry, can't really see properly on camera, but I will show you the end result. But I'm just showing you that I'm actually doing it rather than cut the cutting scene. And just like that, guys, as you can see, there's a little hole there. Right there. Where that light's coming through. And uh, it's been cut there so that the cables can come through. Now you just push that close and look at this room, guys. I mean... Jesus Christ, Mercedes, what were you guys thinking, you know, like, look at this, look at this room, and now check this out, guys, this is how easy it is to put in this nifty little uh, coin organizer, check this out, guys, look at this, and you just drop it in, just like this, look, the tabs simply sit on here, and just like that, look at that, guys, you've got a, you've got a second level, and... If you've got too many coins, look at this thing. You can put coins through. Look at that. You can put coins through here. So you can... Oh, well, you can't fit a 50 cent through in Australia. But... Oh. 20 cent will fit. A dollar. Two dollars. You know, you just put it through there. And then... You check out your treasure after. Hey. <laughs> look at that, guys. I mean... That is way better than having no storage space at all. Like I said, yeah, you've got your glove box, but I mean, your middle, com your center console is where you, you know, you reach mainly. Look at that, just like that, guys, and look how sturdy that is. I can press on it with my finger, and it still doesn't fall through. And that is just and it, look at that. It doesn't even like get in, get in the way of the uh, center console. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. And for $15, you can get that shipped to your door. And just pull out this old-ass friggin' phone holder that pisses me right off. I mean, check this thing out. What the hell is this for? Seriously. I mean, I know what it's for, but why, do, why are we still using it these days when we have already an SD card slot, a CD player, DVD player, and for most people, like I have on my system, I've already got the full... Oh, I love that. I just love how Mercedes-Benz just pops up there. I just love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What I mean by that is because I've actually got the uh, DVD, uh, DVD in motion installed. So um, my car actually plays DVDs while I drive. But...
check this out guys I, I really love this I got this um, uh, little module installed that allows me to sync my phone to the TV but via through data okay so check this out look at that now it goes to my HDMI and that thing there is actually this device right here uh, sorry about my glove box guys well that's this device right here guys look at that now what this module actually does is see the blue light has actually come on now it's actually activated now so when we hold back on my steering wheel as you can see it goes into that module and it's saying that there's HDMI cable connected to it and it works through the Okay, so now in order to get it to work, sorry guys, I'm so I actually forgot. You got to get a video and make sure that it's uh, selected on auxiliary because that's the only way it's going to work. So ah, see, right, that's on auxiliary, and then we got to go to audio and make sure that's on auxiliary also. There we go. Now with that done, now we can connect to the actual. Uh, uh, sorry, the uh, module now. See, now it's telling us it, we have an IP, we have the, the hotspot name, and we have the pin code. So with that, and that activated and ready, I get on my phone. Smart screen. Now it's going to look for it. Smart view. And it's going to find it. As you can see, it's connecting automatically. And watch this, guys. Look how cool this is. There we go. I know it's connected because the screen just shrunk a tad. Look at that. And just like that, guys, I can play music, whatever I want. Anything I want, guys. Look at this. VLC. I'll just play a video clip for you guys. Let's check this out. Well, let's play one with me, eh? <coughs> What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another video. Now before I even get started, I just wanted to apologize for my earlier video. Okay, now I know that they were the best quality. See that guys? That was how it is done. Okay guys, now before we finish up, I just wanted to show you guys off the car what you're actually dealing with. Okay, now look, you have these two tabs here that have a little rise, like a lip, as you can see right here. See that little rise right there? that's what clips into the side compartment of the wall so what you want to do is you want to press down enough as you can see it flexes you press down enough just so that tab releases and then you pull out these are the other two tabs I was telling you about see that little bit that protrudes just that little bit right there that's the other clip and this last one right here very small and that's all it is guys and then like I said the cables these are connected through that little hole that I showed you guys and you just have to feed it through until you get to the actual plug and like I showed you this is the tab where you press to release this one this tab right here and then as for this one like I showed you in the video if you look again this is the locking mechanism this little uh, tab right here so basically when you press on the the back clip here it rises above that tab so you can slide it back out again it's that simple guys okay so why not remove it now and give yourself some actual storage space guys i mean seriously mercedes what were you thinking installing this in a car that's two, in 2010 guys 2010 i mean what are we still doing with this old technology huh I mean everything's SD cards, Bluetooth these days, so what 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 the freak are we doing with this Mercedes? Tell me, why do you even still install this on the car? It's 2010 Mercedes. You know? Look at that. So there you have it guys, pull it out today. You know, get rid of this uh, stupid thing that serves no purpose like I keep explaining. I can't even stress enough how much 
of a bullshit this uh, item actually is. It doesn't do anything. It's just annoying and extremely frustrating. I mean, I'm sure you guys can even tell, but that's it. <clears throat> okay, so you guys got all that? Well, thanks for watching again, guys. And uh, till next time, remember, please like, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs.